Dr. Kathy, can you please explain compartmentalization and how men can compartmentalize their wife and child to sleep with a stranger? Where do we go? Vanish? Thank you for this great question. So compartmentalization is a coping strategy. It is a way that people actively separate conflicting or different aspects of their life that are creating challenges for them. So for example, they might say, well, my wife and my child and my real life, that's all box number one. That's all compartment number one. And I'm going to close that box now as I leave the house. And I am going to go over to my girlfriend's house. And that is box number two. You know, this is my fantasy life. And what happens over here in this compartment at Box number two has nothing to do with box number one. And as long as, you know, my wife and my child, they don't know about this, then it's really not creating a problem for anybody. In fact, it's probably, you know, helping them because my wife is really busy taking care of our family or working or with her Etsy store or whatever. She doesn't have time to take care of me. So I'll just, I'll outsource that and I'll take care of this problem. Of course, that is a complete rationalization, right? They're basically finding reasons to excuse their um, unhealthy and poor choices and you know, very, very painful decisions. So they rationalize their choices and this is all, um, the reason they do this is to minimize their guilt, minimize any shame or pain they might be feeling, um, reduce their discomfort and basically protect their self-esteem. So compartmentalization is a coping mechanism. Rationalization is an ego defense mechanism. The net net is they do all of this to make it easier for themselves to emotionally do the wrong and painful thing. And part of healing is realizing that this is not what we do when we are feeling bad, that we need to choose healthy coping mechanisms and we need to not rationalize away bad choices, right? All right, so let me know what you think about that.